welcome back to my channel in this video we will be uh, copying and pasting flow actions uh, so if you want to duplicate actions inside flow designer you can do that by copy and pasting them to begin with i'll go to uh, my flow from make.powerapps.com then i will create a new flow so if you are building a condition and want similar condition if yes or no or there are like blocks of action that you want to do but you don't want to repeatedly create it then in this case this uh, feature of power automate comes really handy so first of all i'll create an instant cloud just skip that uh, select the trigger first uh, let me create an action which would be send email via outlook so this is one action and probably i can send email to myself and then i can put subject body again so let's say uh, there are like bunch of settings that i have done in this particular action and i, I don't want to repeatedly configure it in that case i can easily just click on this three dot ellipsis menu click on copy to my clipboard and in new step you will get this listed on your email and i can again click it so we have now two uh, same action with the same configurations uh, but this is a very simple use case but there can be complicated use case for example uh, let's let's say there are a bunch of uh, multiple actions that i need to repeatedly create that in that case probably having this feature comes really handy so first off uh, let's uh, let's create a scope so i can put all those actions that needs to happen within a scope and let's call it maybe scope one so let's say i want to uh, list contacts And maybe uh, get a value of the number of contacts that are available in my uh, in my environment then what I can do is I can get the value I can copy it and number of contacts go to expressions paste it uh, select my output and then I can just put length within the bracket scope. I can do this. Now let's remove this email. Let's run it. This is one scope, but maybe uh, we have a bunch of other actions that are similar to do these two actions. Uh, then in that case, uh, we can use Power Automate to uh, copy that in the clipboard and run it. let's see so this scope is done right and we have five contacts now let's say uh, I want to do similar thing uh, for accounts then I can copy to my clipboard add new steps go to my clipboard uh, copy scope one and maybe uh, call it rename it to scope two open it maybe if I don't want it for contacts I can change it to accounts and if you see uh, the name is changed to list rows 2 which was initially list rows and I also put a function here and if you hover around it you can see that the function uh, expression has also changed to, to list rows 2 so it will work similarly for accounts as well and now I can save it and test it now here this is happening one after another but uh, this this having these scores can be really handy if we have let's say a condition and in condition let's say I have a value called 
entity so if I come here and let's say entity equals to uh, contact then I want to run this scope if entity is not contact then I want to run this scope now I can test it let's just manually test it because I don't I need to give the value of so uh, it's asking me which entity I'm putting contact I'll run the flow done so if you see uh, since my input is contact it's going to scope one and this is run it and scope two is not running similarly it will have the same for accounts so simply I can use this copy and flow action uh, to copy the blocks of uh, blocks and uh, put it together and then uh, duplicate it and it comes really handy in case of this where you don't have to repeatedly create li repeated list of actions uh, so yeah thank you so much uh, for watching my video uh, if you like it please like my video and subscribe to my channel thank you so much and see you in next video